Welcome to the Complete Discipleship Evangelism 48 Lesson Course by Andrew Womack and Don Crow. Level 1, Lesson 8 Water Baptism by Don Crow. A question. I need to know if you have to be baptized to go to heaven. I love God and was baptized when I was seven years old. I am now 18 years old and someone from a non-denominational church told me that no one can be saved and baptized at such a young age. They also said that you have to be baptized to go to heaven, but my Baptist family said that you don't. I just want to go to heaven. I am living for God in every way that I can, but I need to know if I must be baptized again now that I am supposedly of age to be baptized. Please help me, ASAP, God bless, and thanks. Response Salvation and the forgiveness of sins come freely as a gift through faith in Jesus Christ. Acts 10 verse 43 states all the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The New International Version. Salvation comes through faith, that is, trust and reliance upon Jesus and his shed blood to give you a right standing before God. In Acts 10 verses 44 to 48, the Holy Ghost was given to the believers, confirming their salvation before they were baptized. Even though this is true, at other times it seems that the forgiveness of sins happened at the time of baptism, Acts 2 verse 38. This is because baptism is an expression or act of faith that was carried out at the time that a person turned to Jesus in repentance and faith. Mark 16 verse 16 says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. It was also a way of calling on the Lord for a clear conscience. Acts 22 verse 16 and 1 Peter 3 verse 21. If you truly turn to Jesus from your heart at the age of seven and were baptized, God accepts your childlike faith. Baptism does have requirements. One requirement is repentance. Did you have a change of heart and a change of mind that resulted in turning from sin to Jesus and his forgiveness? Acts 2 verse 38, Acts 20 verse 21, and Acts 17 verse 30. Did you exercise faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Mark 16 verse 16, John 3 verse 16, and Romans 10 verses 9 to 10? If not, then turn to Jesus now. Repent from your sins, turn to his grace to forgive you and seal that decision to follow him through water baptism. Baptism is an act that expresses one's faith in Jesus. Without that faith, the act means nothing. People who turn to Jesus as Lord and Savior were willing to express that faith and openly confess Jesus in this public way. People who say no to Jesus' command are showing, to some extent, a dead faith. Faith is dead when people are unwilling to express it. James 2 verses 18 to 19. Faith alone saves, but saving faith is never alone. It is always willing to express itself. Baptism was a way of expressing that faith. Baptism is not what saves, it is Jesus. Water does not wash away sins, it is the blood of Jesus. But faith applies his blood to you 
and sometimes that faith was expressed at the time a person was baptized. Acts 22 verse 16. The question is, have you repented? Do you believe in him, in Jesus? If so, why do you delay? Arise and be baptized. Let us now take this opportunity to pause and reflect on the lesson by considering some questions. Suggested scripture readings will first be read, followed by the question to be answered. A pause is then recommended to allow time to meditate on the scripture as an individual or to discuss as a group and formulate an answer. Finally, the suggested answer will be given. Question. In the text that we read previously, what is the question that this young man is asking? Answer. If he needs to be baptized to go to heaven. We read Acts 10 verse 43. To him all the prophets witness that, through his name, whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. Question. According to Acts 10 verse 43, salvation comes to us how? Answer. Freely as a gift through faith in Jesus Christ. We read Acts 2 verse 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Question. Baptism is an expression of faith that usually takes place at the time of salvation. How does Acts 2 verse 38 express this truth. Answer. Peter said to repent and be baptized. We read Mark 16 verse 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Question. How does Mark 16 verse 16 express this truth? Answer. Jesus said, He who believes and is baptized will be saved, implying that it can happen at the same time. We read Acts 22 verse 16. And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Question. Baptism is a way of calling upon the Lord. How does Acts 22 verse 16 express this truth? Answer. This scripture says that as a person calls upon the name of the Lord, their sins will be washed away. It appears that calling on the name of the Lord can be vocal, as in Luke 18 verse 13, or through the act of baptism, as it appears to be in this scripture. We read 1 Peter 3 verse 21. There is also an antitype, which now saves us. Baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Question. Baptism is a way to call upon the Lord for a clear conscience. Does 1 Peter 3 verse 21 confirm this truth? Answer. Yes. We read Acts 2 verse 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Question. What are the requirements for baptism according to Acts 2 
2, verse 38. Answer, repentance. We read Mark 16, verse 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Question. What are the requirements for baptism according to Mark 16, verse 16? Answer. A person must believe. Question. Can an infant repent? Answer. No. Question. Can an infant believe? Answer. No. We read Acts 10 verses 43 to 48. To him all the prophets witness that, through his name, whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word, and those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then Peter answered, Can anyone forbid water? that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then they asked him to stay a few days. Question. What is the next step after faith in Christ that a believer should take? Answer. Water baptism. Thank you for joining me and taking part in our lesson. This lesson is one of many steps on a learning pathway, taking you deeper into discipleship and relationship with the Lord. And now, stay tuned for our next lesson.